Hello and welcome to Let's Talk DevOps, your favorite pit stop to catch every nugget in this domain. Joining me again from our previous episode are our DevOps experts, Thomas and Gurpreet, who had helped us understand CI/CD in Power Platforms. Today, we are diving deeper by discussing about CI/CD for Power Platforms with Advanced Azure. Welcome back, both of you. Hey, Shailesh. Great to be here again. Hey, Shailesh. Thanks for having us again. Great. Uh, all right. So, Thomas, in our previous episode, uh, we covered the basics of CI/CD in Power Platform. Uh, today, let's begin by first getting a clear understanding of the Microsoft Power Platform build tools for Azure DevOps. Sure. So these tools are basically extensions provided by Microsoft in their own marketplace and addresses some of the limitations within Power Platform pipelines. Um, that we discussed in the last episode. Um, mm -hmm. Features included include import and export of solutions, um, checking for validity, and uh, setting versions to the current used solution. They also make it possible to customize workflow, so organizations can utilize this for their workflow processes and specific needs while using robust approach that is offered by these tools. OK. Uh, Gurpreet, can you walk us through the key components uh, that are required within an Azure DevOps pipeline for Power Platform? Yeah, great question. So of course, we have some prerequisite steps which are required. So first of all, we've got setting up the actual app registrations in Azure to actually enable that authentic authentication and create a system user in the Power Apps portal to ensure that the pipeline has the necessary permissions. Once that's done, then we can actually focus on the Azure DevOps components that are actually used to build the pipeline. So first of all, we've got an essential foundational task within that Azure DevOps pipeline, which is the Power Platform Tool Installer. And this effectively ensures that you have all of the required Power Platform CLI tools installed with the latest versions. And then, of course, we have other components within that uh, pipeline, such as setting the solution version, the Power Platform Checker, which checks for any errors, exporting the solution, and then the actual archival of that solution. So these components effectively work together to automate deployments, enhance quality control, and streamline the application lifecycle management within Power Platform. Makes sense. Yeah. So Thomas, uh, if we think of a high level overview, what is the typical structure uh, of an Azure DevOps pipeline? So I wouldn't go as far as say typical structure of a pipeline um, since it's very um, customizable. Um, but our approach was to uh, break um, this pipeline into three steps. Um, the first step covers parameters such as version number. The second um, step um, is covering the actual integration and deployment tasks, um, such as validating the, the solution is working and that there are no errors. Um, exporting the solution from your dev environment and then archiving it. And the final step um, is where the solution is then published into the chosen environment. By structuring the pipeline this way, um, we ensure that deployments are efficient and automated and reliable. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, finally, Gurpreet, uh, what would you recommend as the key considerations that must be followed uh, for CI CD pipelines in low code, no code platforms? Absolutely. So let me let me just list those out. Um, firstly, we've got tools and frameworks that are actually tailored for low code, no code environment testing. Uh, secondly, we'd need some sort of component level test automation. And then another consideration would be managing rollback strategies for low code, no code applications. And then finally, 
the ease of hybrid development integration, so some sort of seamless integration um, of, of artifacts with the actual custom code bases. Um, so something that would support both, uh, something that would support mixed workflows. And these improvements effectively will make CICD in the low code platforms more powerful and enterprise ready. Awesome. Uh, these are great insights. And as always, it's been absolutely wonderful to have both of you on our show. Uh, so thank you, Thomas and Gurpreet, once again for sharing your valuable inputs with us. Awesome. It was a pleasure, as always. Thanks for having us, Shailash. All right. Uh, we hope you gain some useful insights from this episode as well. Until next time, keep having fun in this wonderful domain. And of course, keep talking DevOps.